Hello YouTube, I'm back again and today I am doing a review of uh, my new printer I just got a few days ago. Um, I've had time to you know use it over the past few days and get a feel for it. So this will be a full review of my new printer. And it is the, uh, the HP Envy 4501 is the model number. It's a printer, scanner, copier, all-in-one um, unit here. It's wireless. Um, it's it works off the network, the wireless network. Um, it can do um, a number of different features. Um, but yeah, that's um, the basics. Let's get to the full review. Okay, here is the printer itself. Um, it has a scanner on top, um, which is the basic setup of a all-in-one printer. Scanner on top, paper tray on the bottom, and you got your little um, touch control right here area. Uh, power button, you know, it's got the uh, the copy scan wireless. Inst um, I'm involved in instant instant ink as well. Which is where um, the since the printer is connected to the internet, it can tell HP when you're low on ink, and they automatically send you ink out right to your door. You never have to worry about um, running out of ink again, because as soon as you get low, it just automatically ships you ink. It's free of charge. Um, you pay a monthly fee; it's like um, three dollars a month or something. And you never had to buy actual ink again. It's just all magnet shipped to you. So that's a great deal. Um, I think cheaper than buying like $30 ink every time you need it. Which is for me when I, I've had printers in the past. Would probably be about every you know couple months or so. So that could add up to about you know a couple hundred dollars a year. So $3 a month that's 36 bucks a year. You basically you're paying for one ink set a year instead of buying like ten or, tw well, maybe not ten, but maybe like five or six. So it's a lot cheaper in the long run. And uh, yeah, um, this was a special on Wal at Walmart for Black Friday. Um, so I picked it up. It was basically half price. Retail value. This is ninety nine dollars. It was um, at Walmart for Black Friday for forty nine dollars, so I picked it up. Um, let's go walk around the hardware, um, as I like to always start reviews off with. Like I said, here's your um, control center right here. You got your, you know, your home back. This is a little soft key. Um, air keys, the OK key, the wireless key, um, e-print, and the. Uh, that's for help if you um some sec I haven't found any sections where it actually works in but maybe that's a future update or something I'm not sure and that's another thing about this um since it's connected to the internet it's always automatically updated um anything uh, any software updates firmware updates anything any new features it's automatically downloaded to it um so that's also a nice feature and um, the paper tray is a little different than what I've seen in the past, it actually pulls out and you put the paper in and then you slide it back in, which makes it more of a compact design. I like that. I don't, uh, printers I had in the past, it always had a paper tray that stayed out, it was more bulky than it needed to be. Because why would you need this paper tray all the way out here when the actual printer itself is, you know, pretty small? Then you have this big paper tray out, which limits where you can put it. This you slide it in, and you can pretty much put this anywhere you need to. And another thing is, it's Energy Star certified, so it's low, great on um, you know, energy efficient. Uh, you lift the tray up here, and that's where ink goes. And this takes the uh, 61. If you can see it back there, ink cartridge, and. Uh, then my camera is having a hard time focusing, but this is the Moto X I'm shooting this on. So this is also a test of 
camera quality on this phone as well. Because it's the first time I've ever actually shot video with this particular phone. Um, my previous phone was the HTC One, which I should be getting that back from repair. Uh, it says it'll be here on Wednesday, FedEx. FedEx uh, sent me tracking information, saying it'll be here on Wednesday, so... Yeah, um... But anyway, back to this review. You got this little pull-out. If the paper gets jammed, that's where you retrieve it from, right there. The previous printers have been on the actual back of the printer, like, on the actual, you know, behind the printer. But this one's actually inside. Which is something I had to look for, because um, when I first started using it, I did not, um... I did not line up, I didn't know this had to be all the way in for it to work. And the paper jammed in it. And I was like, okay, how do I get the paper jam out of here? And then I had to go into the instructions and it told me to pull this little tab out. Open this up, pull this tab out, and that's where you retrieve your paper jam from. Right in here. Um, so, yeah, um, that's the inside. That's the, you know, printing mechanics of the printing process. Go ahead and close that back there. Let's go around back and check out right here is the uh, you know all it has in the back is a USB port which it's wireless so you don't really need it and unless you want to some people prefer wire connection that's that's there for that I guess and um, a power connection and that's it and one thing I love about this printer, I noticed that all every other printer I've had have had a power brick. This one, no power brick. It just goes directly from the wall into the printer. No bulky power brick to worry about. It's just just the cord. They are, they must have shrunk down the power supply and you know have it inside the um, printer now, which is um, a very nice idea from HP. I mean, I would prefer it inside a device instead of, uh, like, a power brick, like, from a laptop. Of course, laptops, you can't really, you know, integrate that into the laptop and make them too bulky. Because the laptops are meant for portability. Printer is meant to just, you know, set it up, set it down, and leave it. You don't have to carry it around. I mean, they do make portable printers, but this type of printer is not made for portability. This may just for office work, you know, just to uh, <coughs> print out um, things that you need uh, in your home or office or, you know, it's just not meant for portability. And it has um, different printable things you can uh, some reason my printer is not connecting to the server right now. I would show you um, some quick forms. So let me see if this will work here. Um, let's go for, let's print out a tic-tac-toe page. There we go. And I just want to show you, I mean, it's a, it's a, one of the faster printers I've owned. I mean, it is pretty quick at printing. I'll admit that. I mean, yeah, I know there are faster printers, like laser printers out there and things like that that are a lot faster. But this is no slouch at all. This is pretty, pretty good in my book. I mean, I, I have not found anything bad about this printer. I mean, I've some prints came out incomplete from the HP Photo Creation software, but I think that's a software problem. I don't think that's a problem with the printer because everything else prints out fine. I've tried print out. I've even print out full photos and things like that with it no problem whatsoever just when I use that particular software it something about it just it prints out like half of it and then the other half just doesn't print so like if I try to print out um, a card you know like the the photo creations the uh, where you print out like you know holiday cards and things like that I try to print out a card like two times I, tr I tried it once it didn't print out it went halfway and the second time we did the same thing, but I think that's a software problem, not a problem with the actual printer. I think that's a problem with the photo creation software on the computer. I mean, 
uh, this printer, everything on it just simply works. And here's the instant ink right there. It says printer is ready. Means it is. Um, it shows the ink levels right there. And my there, uh, it's focused now. Finally, got it to focus. All right. There we go. Now I can. There's the ink levels. There's copy scan, wireless, instant ink, printables. Here's where I was trying to. For some reason it doesn't want to connect. But see, you can print out things like. Uh, I'm trying to see. Uh, excuse me. Um, news stories, crossword puzzles, Crayola, Angry Birds. Times Digest, Better Homes and Gardens, DreamWorks, Highlights, um, TV Listings is one I wanted to try out. I haven't tried this yet. I might as well want to do this on camera. See if it'll connect because it wasn't connecting. Okay. Print latest. There we go. It will print. As soon as it's done downloading. So it's going to download. The TV. I guess that means the TV schedule for tonight. It's going to download it. And it's going to locate my area. It's going to download it. And it's going to print it out as soon as it's done. So. I'm not sure how long that takes because I've never, you know, done that before. Is there any way I could check the status on that? Let's see if I can go back to it. TV listings. Connecting. TV tonight off. <clears throat> There's no way to know if it's actually downloading or anything. There's nothing going on in the punch right here. Um, it just says set schedule it to turn on schedule printing or print latest. Now printing. Okay, now it's printing. Let's see exactly what this does. Because uh, this is new to me too, so. Here it comes. Yep, it is TV listings. There we go. And there we are. There are the TV listings for tonight, December, December 2nd, that's tomorrow night. Okay, I point out, I guess it gives you a, a day before, that way you can get prepared, I'm assuming. But there, there's the TV listings for the, um, not really every network, but just your, I guess your locals and things like that. Nothing on the back, <laughs> but yeah. And you can shoot. You can create your own schedule at that website. I guess you could choose like your local, you know, channels and things like that on there. Add your favorite channels. Like if, I guess if you like, I don't watch Food Network. I guess I could go and remove that and animal. Well, PBS and things like that. And it's printing again. Nah, I guess, uh, because I did hit it twice, so I guess that's why. Because I, I guess it takes a while to download. But yeah, that's uh, one of the features. You can have this all back with print out for you every night, too. Is the, these things, you can have like recipes print out automatically. Um, but yeah, there's um, the, the, as you can see, it is pretty fast at printing. It says it does. Um, not sure if it's true, but it says it does five pages per minute. 
in uh, color, which, I mean, that's respectable. I mean, I know there's printers out there that could do 16 to 20 pages a minute, but this is this fits my needs. I mean, maybe office people, like business oriented people, need a faster printer, but for me, for personal use, the occasional business use, this is perfect. And I wouldn't see anything to need. I've already used the, um, the copier. Um, copier works great. Let's go ahead and... Oh, what the heck. Let's just copy this tic-tac-toe. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do a black copy. Um, just one black copy. And there we go. And it's copy. Okay. I'm sure you can hear all that going on too. <laughs> it's not good. But here we go. And copies are actually pretty quick. As you can see, it's very fast. Copying. And there you go. Perfect. Perfect copy. I just did a black copy just to because that's usually the fastest copy and that's usually the basic like what everybody you know when you make a copy you don't really do a color copy you ba mostly do black copies um, for things like um, so I mean that shows how quick a black copy is it's pretty you know just straight out instantly done <coughs> so um, yeah that's been the review of the uh, HP NV 4501. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end it here. Uh, leave a comment if you have one, and um, if you have any questions about, you know, this particular printer or any recommendations or anything, let me know. I am experienced with printers because I've owned quite a few different models. They've all been HP, but I've owned, uh, owned a few different models in the past. And this is, I guess, because, I don't know if it's because it's a newer model, but this is by far the best one I've owned yet. So, and another thing I noticed with this one, um, all my other printers that I used to own used to terribly eat ink. Um, let me get, how do I check the ink? This one is actually doing pretty good. I've printed out a few photos and things like that with this. And the ink levels are still, you know, fairly decent. The black is getting a little low, of course. Because it uses black more than anything, I believe. But the, the color is actually staying up pretty high. What is that? No, the color. Yeah, the color is on the left and the black is on the right, I believe. Yeah, I believe that's how it works. Um, I have to see the diagram more line too, really. Um, I can do that, actually. Go right on here. Retrieving information from device. Yeah, the color in black right there. Estimated ink levels. And this is a nice dashboard for the printer. That tells you all the information you need to know about it. And there are the ink levels there. And... Yeah, it's doing great on ink. I've probably printed out. I'm not sure if I can. Um, I'm not sure if there's a setting that shows you how, like, how many pages you've printed out so far. But I'm I'm sure I printed out probably. I printed out some coupons. Um, like, I don't know, like four or five pages of coupons. Um, three or four photos, uh, a couple of envelopes, um, I'm enrolled in stamps.com as well, and I print out a couple of envelopes, um, to mail my rent to my landlord and things like that, uh, print out these TV listings, the tic-tac-toe, I know that takes a good bit of ink, photos take a lot of ink, so the coupons, um, but I mean, if, with my older printers I used to own, to print out what I have printed out now, the ink levels will probably be down like to right here to like you know below halfway or right around halfway 
So it actually seems more efficient on ink as well. Not only you know energy efficient, but ink efficient as well. And uh, with the HP, but with the HP Insta Ink, you don't even have to worry about ink. It, they go by how many pages you put, not how much ink you use. So you don't have to worry about you know buying ink anymore. It's just shipped to your door for a low monthly fee, and that's it. So. Yeah, I'm going to end it here. I think I've taken enough of your time. <laughs> but uh, that's been my full review of the HP NV4501. Uh, All-in-one wireless e-prints um, printer. Um, and uh, just, uh, you know, leave a comment. Thanks for watching subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video.